Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. And today's date is Thursday the 4th of January and the time has just gone 12.15pm UK time. And the chart we're going to look at this week is gold. Now first off the bat, if you take a look at the price action of gold over the past 12 months, we can see that it's been in a, in a broadly upward trend. Even though the sell-off in December did manage to take out the October low, since mid-December the gold market has seen a decent rally and yesterday it managed to print a fresh three and a half month high. Even though we've seen a bit of a pullback today, uh, this, this slightly negative move we've seen today may be just a, 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 um, a pause or a breather for the, we, we potentially see another leg higher on gold. Now if the positive trend from mid-December should continue, the next level to keep an eye out for to the upside might be 13.34. We saw a lot of consolidation and price action in around the 13.34 region here uh, in mid to late September. And if 13.34 is taken out to the upside, the next potential area for resistance will be the September high at 13.58. And if you go beyond 13.58, bulls will then that might be looking towards 13.75, which of course was the high from July 2016. It is worth pointing out that the previous two Januaries have been positive months for gold, so we may see history repeat itself. So if you look at the price action on gold for the last couple of sessions, we have seen a slight pullback, a bit of profit taking uh, has, uh, has, uh, has, um, has, has taken place, but the upward trend since mid-December is still firmly in place. Uh, and in upward trends, buying on the dip is often a popular strategy. So if we do see moves lower in gold, we could potentially see fresh buyers enter the fold. So moves to the downside may find support in around the 1306 area, which coincides with the late October high. Uh, also, the 1300 is a big psychological uh, price. Keep an eye out for that area there. And then if we move south of 1300, we may even find support at the 100 day moving average which comes into play at 12.88. Notice how the 100-day moving average did manage to act as both resistance and support in late December. Same with the 50-day moving average, which comes into place at 12.76. Note once again, we did see some both resistance and support play a role on the 50-day moving average in late December. It's only if we see a decisive break south of the 200-day moving average, which comes into play in around 12.70, then we, 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 we might start to get worried that the upward trend from mid-December is actually turning over on itself. And if we do have a close south of the 200-day moving average, that could point to a fall back towards the December low of 12.36, and then south of that down towards 12.30. If you are going to be trading the gold market, it is worth pointing out that tomorrow is Friday the 5th of January. So the, the United States will be announcing the non-farm payrolls figures, which of course could add volatility. And speaking of non-farm payrolls, here at CMC Markets, our non-farm payrolls webinar kicks off at 1.15 p.m. UK time. So please feel free to sign up for that or, or watch the video afterwards. In relation to this chart this week, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.